Hey everyone, it's Delaney, Inbound Marketing Specialist at Hive House Digital. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an email A-B test in HubSpot. First, let's talk about why you should A-B test emails in HubSpot. A-B tests help you test different aspects of your email and how your list responds. You can test the subject line, copy, personalization tokens, and more. When testing, it's best to only test one variable at a time so you can have a more accurate measure. In HubSpot, there are two types of email A-B testing. In this video, I will show you how to do each type. First, let's do a 50-50 split. This will send 50% of your list version A and 50% of your list version B. First, select marketing and then email from the drop-down menu. Then select the orange create email button. You can do a regular or an automated email for this, but I'm gonna choose regular. Then select your template. Now you can create your first email. I'm gonna give it an internal name, and then I'm just gonna keep this example copy as it is. Then I'll navigate to settings and add in my subject line. You can also add preview text, as well as your subscription type and campaign. Next, go back to your email and to create the A-B test, you're gonna select Create A-B test in the left corner. You can choose a name for your version B. I typically choose the variable I am testing. So I'll add subject line. And then you need to choose your A-B distribution. Since we're doing a 50-50 split, we're gonna take this white bar and drag it all the way to the right. So now you can see it has 50% for version A and 50% for version B. Then you can select Create Test. Now that you've created this email as an A-B test, you're gonna to go to the name of your email in the left corner and select your B version. Now make the changes that you are testing. I'm gonna to go to settings and add in a personalization token. As you can see, it copied over the subscription type in campaign, which can only be set in the version A. If you're testing the copy, go ahead and change anything in the copy. And from here, you're going to want to send a test email of each version to make sure everything looks good when it's sent. And when you're all done, go back to version A and you can send or schedule your email. Now let's show you how to create the second type of A-B test. This is where it will send to a portion of your list wait a designated amount of time, and then send to the winner. Note, this A-B test requires at least a thousand recipients in your list. For this example, let's test images versus no images in the email. The initial setup is pretty much the same. You're gonna to wanna to be in the marketing email area of HubSpot and select create email. For this, you can only use it as a regular email, not automated, so I'm gonna select regular, and then I'm gonna select my template. Now create your version A. Let's give it an internal name and then go ahead and add in your copy. And since I'm testing images, I'm gonna drag over that module and select my image. Then go to settings, set your subject line, your preview text, your subscription type, and your campaign. Then select create A-B test to create your A-B test. Choose a version for this test and then this is actually the default when you create an A-B test. As you can see, it's going to send to 25% of your list version A and 25% version B. You can adjust this however you'd like, but 25% gives you a good sample size. Next, select your winning metric. If you're doing something like subject line, you're gonna to wanna to choose open rate. But if you're choosing something in the body copy, you're gonna to wanna to choose click rate or click through rate. Next, choose your test duration. Four hours is the default and is what is generally recommended to give your contacts enough time to open and interact with the email. But you can choose whatever you'd like to send your email. Next, you're gonna choose your fallback version. This is what we'll send if you have inconclusive test results. So you can choose version A or version B. And finally, you're gonna select create test. You have now created the A-B test, so now select your email name to toggle over to version B. Since I'm testing images versus no images, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the image. 
When you head to settings, you'll see that the subject line, preview text, as well as the subscription type and campaign have copied over. Once again, go ahead and send yourself an, a test of each email to make sure everything is looking good. Then you can go ahead, head back to version A, and send or schedule your email. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you for our next tech tip.